Lola Loud, hosting another fabulous Listen Out Loud podcast. I am backstage at the Little Miss Iron Ore pageant. It's the only local competition Lola hasn't won. She wants this crown bad. I mean, she came in second once. Thank you, Lincoln. And even third a few times. I said thank you, Lincoln. Listeners, my big brother is here with me today as my pageant coach. He is here to help me with every little thing I need to look low amazing. Lint brush, on it. Mrs. Fudge. Anyway, listeners, you're in for a special treat. I'll be revealing my secret pageant beauty regimen just for you. Do you know how many competitors would love to get their hands on these deets? <laughs> a lot. Don't think I can't see you snooping back there, China. Yeah, you better run. <sighs> Such desperation. Okay, Lols. The workstation is all set up with your supplies. Let's get you into makeup. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, whoops. It's okay. It was just perfume. <laughs> That'll be coming out of your paycheck. We're fixing to start the talent portion. <gasps> Lola, sweetie. I know as pageant coordinator, I should not be biased, but your dress is stunning. <laughs> Cheryl, stop. Royal blue satin with rhinestone beading and tiered skirt ruffle frills. <laughs> it's just something I had in my closet. Oh, come on. Twirl, girl, twirl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, silly Lincoln. No need to fall on your knees and bow. Save it for when I win the crown. <laughs> I wasn't bowing. I was attacked by your ruffles. Well, I best be wrangling up the next contestant. Good luck out there, sugar. Oh, come on, Lincoln. Time to stop dilly-dallying and start the makeup magic. <laughs> <sighs> Have a seat. Okay. First, we'll moisturize with a Caviar Luxe face mask. It gives my skin a radiant shine. <laughs> And it gives me fish fingers. More! But the instructions say... Do you think I've gotten this far by following instructions? More! All right, all right! <laughs> Is it supposed to harden up like that? Yeah, you can take it off now. You want me to give you cake now? You can take it off now. I can take a break now? Great! I'm dying to wash this fish smell off my hands. <laughs> Well, I still don't know what you're saying, but I'm going to take the mask off now. Good thing I brought Lana's chisel. And just a quick rinse. <laughs> Total perfection. Now we delicately add a layer of <coughs> powder. Lincoln, I wasn't ready. My mouth was open. Tastes like lavender chalk. Sorry, I really like that part. Pageant coaches can be replaced, you know. So watch it. All right, moving on. Time for my glam pageant makeup. Unfortunately, listeners, I cannot divulge the details of my design. It's trademarked. China, beat it already! Okay, here we go. Contouring your cheekbones, gluing on lashes, blotting your lips, applying primer, eating a chip from myself. <clears throat> yes, yes, wiping my hands, and voila! What do you think? You are amazing! Oh, thanks, Lulz. No, I'm talking to myself in the mirror. Lola, darling, you are a sight to behold. And now for the finale, my hair. A winning style needs volume and hold, so I use Grab and Clench hairspray. Uh-oh, Lola, I think I'm stuck to your hair. Well, my hair is currently flawless, so you're going to have to lose a hand. <laughs> Lola! Fine, just make it snappy. <laughs> Did that hurt? Just get the hair dryer, please. Listeners, I usually spend ten minutes under the dryer, but today we don't have that kind of time, so we're bringing out the big guns! Uh, uh, Lisa invented a jet power dryer just for Lola. We've never used it before, so let's hope it works. Crank it all the way! <laughs> Lola, where did you go? <coughs> I landed in the thin of sequins! Get me out of here! <sighs> Lola Loud, swimming in tacky costume jewelry. <laughs> That's about right. Hello, Lindsay Sweetwater. Nice curtains. I mean, dress. <laughs> well, I didn't realize they just let anybody into this pageant. <laughs> um, honey, I was born to be Little Miss Iron Ore. <laughs> uh, 
I'll bet you don't even know anything about iron ore. Like I wouldn't know the name of the woman who started the pageant? Um, actually, iron ore is a mineral. Wow, Lola. Huh, surprised you got that right. And never mind. Lindsay Hun, you're up! You ready? Yes, ma'am. <gasps> oh, mercy alive. That bagpipe reminds me when my daddy's old goose got the croup. <laughs> In a good way. <laughs> Let's get you on stage. Lola, baby doll, you're up after Lindsay. Good luck, Lola. Hope nothing goes wrong with your performance. Ugh, that Lindsay. Please let her get sucked under her own bagpipe. Hey, now, don't let her get to you. Remember, judges always love your ribbon dancing routine. You're so right. <sighs> OK, I'll do warm-ups. <laughs> Can you get my ribbon wand for me, please? Sure thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> Lincoln? There are two things a beauty contestant never wants to hear. Uh-oh. And runner-up. Promise he won't get mad. <laughs> I'd never make such a foolish promise. What? Well, I better tell you anyway. Your wand is missing. <gasps> what? But I left it right here on the counter. What happened to it? Please welcome to the stage, Lindsay Sweetwater. <gasps> you know what? I bet that low-down, lizard-eyed Lindsay hit it just to get me disqualified. Well, Lola Loud does not go down that easy. Hurry, we have to find it. <laughs> Ooh, maybe she put it in the girls' bathroom. I'll go look. Do you mind? I'm in here. Excuse you. Pageant emergency! Has anyone seen my ribbon wand? <gasps> there it is. Sticking out from under that stone. Maybe she tried to ditch the wand in the alley. Good thinking. Come on! <laughs> Check inside those trash cans. Me? Well, I can't do it! I'm about to go on! <sighs> Fine. <laughs> the wand's not in any of these, but I did find a lot of press on nails, eyelashes, and hair extensions. Blech. Psst. Maybe I got what you need, Chief. Flip? What are you doing out here? Hey, I don't know this Flip fella, but feel free to peruse my cart. Check out the sign. Jimmy's Jewels and Gems. Jimmy, at your service. I got the finest knockoff jewelry. Crowns, sashes, trophies, you name it. Ah, let's be real. Not all of those show ponies in there are coming out champs. But with Jimmy right here, each of them can at least look like a winner. You don't happen to have a ribbon dance wand in here, do you? Hmm. Eh, closest I got is this push-button magic fairy scepter. Um, tacky. Come on, Lola, we have to keep... Name your price, Jimmy. Lola? But it matches a pair of kitten heels I have. Fine, fine, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Biscuits and bacon grease. There you are, Lola. I've been looking everywhere for you. You're on right now. You're the last one. But Cheryl, I need more time. Can you stall? Just a teensy bit. Oh, sugar, we're trying. Norm the janitor's out there right now, but his mop bucket drum solo is going down in flames. See you. Hey, y'all, stop throwing that produce at Norm. Tomatoes are for frying, not flinging. <sighs> Well, that's it. I'm gonna have to go out there and tell those judges that I am disqualified. And I really wanted to win this pageant! No, wait just a ding dang minute. This isn't the Lola Loud I know. It's okay, Lincoln. You don't have to do the pageant coach thing anymore. I'll still pay you for your time. Not quite as much, but you know, you understand. Forget that. This is your brother talking. I've never seen you give up, whether it's a pageant or the last waffle at breakfast. The Lola I know would find a way to go out there and perform. <gasps> You're absolutely right. After all, I am good at so many things. Hmm, let's see. <gasps> uh -huh. I'll just take the caps off these bottles of sparkling water. <laughs> then use some eyelash glue and stick the caps on the bottoms of my shoes. 
gonna wow those judges with tap dancing like they've never seen! Thank you, Lincoln. You're the best pageant coach and an even better big brother. Thanks, Lulz. Go break a leg! <laughs> Ooh, sparkling water. <coughs> Dang it. Where are the paper towels? And finally, please welcome to the stage, Lola Loud! <laughs> Sister. Well, folks, that certainly was impressive. The judges have all tabulated their scores, and our winner is. Lola Loud! Thank you, Linky! <laughs> Listeners, the crown is mine, and it looks amazing! <sighs> I bet Mrs. Iron Ore would be so proud of me! No thanks to you, Lindsay! Um, I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Like you don't know. Hiding Lola's wand so she'd be disqualified. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Oh, yeah? Then swear on my crown. I swear. I never even touched it. <gasps> well, now I know you're telling the truth. I'm sorry I accused you, Lindsay. But if you didn't take my ribbon off the counter, then who? Oopsie doodle. Cheryl? I'm sorry, little angels. I saw it laying there and thought it was my hair ribbon. Takes a lot to keep this haystack in place. Here, let me take it out. <gasps> so Ribbon turned on Lisa's jet engine hair dryer. Brown sashes, come and get them. Look out! This guy flipped its chin out! Oh, we better go help him. You are so right. Otherwise, I'd never get my hands on that magic fairy scepter. Well, loyal listeners, Thanks, Bunches, for joining me backstage. Until next time, this is Lola Loud reminding you, think fabulous, be fabulous. Toodles! Hoo-hoo, <laughs> well, butter my buns. Is this little old gadget a voice recorder? Test, test. <laughs> it's like the intercom. <gasps> well, I hushed my puppy and collared my greens. Fixing a mess of cornbread for my ham hocks and beans. Cheryl! It's Jimmy! Uh, oh, sure, I'll be right there, sugar! 